Discovery can get messy. How do insects grow and change over their lives? Insects have what we scientists call complex life cycles because their lives are more complicated than ours. When a human is born, the baby has two eyes, two ears, a nose, a mouth, two arms, two legs, etc., just like an adult human. The only real difference between a baby, a kid, and a grown-up is size. This is also true for some, but not most, species of insects. A few groups of insects go through what we call incomplete metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is just a fancy word for change. We call this change incomplete because the baby insects look basically like their parents, they just get bigger as they grow. Most insects, however, go through what's called complete metamorphosis, or a complete change. During complete metamorphosis, the baby insect looks nothing like the adult. Most insects start out as eggs. When the egg hatches, the baby insect, called a larva, starts doing its only job, eating. Larvae eat and eat and eat so they can become big and strong. A polyphemus moth larva can eat 86,000 times its own body weight. That's like a kid eating more than 300 hamburgers in just a couple of weeks. Have you heard these words for larvae before? A nymph is a baby dragonfly, a grub is a baby beetle, a maggot is a baby fly, and a caterpillar is a baby butterfly. After a larva is big enough, it will create a pupa. Inside the pupa is where the big change of metamorphosis happens. Have you ever seen a butterfly pupa, also called a chrysalis? What about a moth pupa, also called a cocoon? The adult insect emerges from the pupa, but it's usually not ready to go right away. Brand new adult insects need time for their exoskeletons to harden, and adult butterflies and moths need time for their wings to expand and dry. A newly emerged adult insect is very vulnerable to predators. If the adult insect survives, it will go off to mate, making new eggs to start the cycle of complete metamorphosis all over again. If you want to witness metamorphosis in action, try raising a caterpillar. First, you'll need to build a terrarium to house it in. Take a big container like a glass or plastic jar, put some dirt in the bottom, and spritz with a little water. Then put in some tiny plants. It's like making a garden in a jar. Next, you'll need a caterpillar. You can find one in the wild like I did, or you can visit one of the links I put in the description to receive caterpillars in the mail. Either way, you'll need to make sure that your terrarium has appropriate food for your caterpillars. Now just put on a lid and wait. You can lightly spritz the inside of your terrarium with water every few days so the plants don't dry out, but otherwise, your caterpillar should just do its thing, eating until it's ready to build a pupa. Once the adult emerges, make sure to set it free. Releasing your new adult butterfly or moth is a great reason to go outside and get messy. Don't forget to post any of your insect questions in the comments below, and thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing. I'll see you next week.